Australian Open. Novak Djokovic thumps Adrian Manorino to reach 58th Grand Slam quarterfinal. The best sets I've played in a while, the Serbian said afterwards. I really wanted to lose that game in the third set because the tension was building up so much in the stadium. I needed to get that out of the way and refocus on what I needed to do to finish the match. I served very well. In the moments when I needed to come up with the first serve, I did. All in all, great performance. The last couple of days has been really good, so it's going in a positive direction health-wise, tennis-wise, so I'm really happy. 10. Interesting Facts About Earth's Oceans Next, Djokovic faces 12th seed Taylor Fritz, who claimed a landmark victory over last year's runner-up Stefanos Tsitsipas. Fritz went into the match with a 0-11 record against top 10 players at Grand Slams, but came away with a 7-6-3-5-7-6-3-6-3 triumph to reach the quarterfinals in Melbourne for the first time. He will need to achieve another first if he is to go further, having lost all eight previous meetings with Djokovic, including a painful five-set defeat in the third round three years ago when the Serbian suffered an abdominal injury mid-match. Sassuolo evaluate Roma talents as Vina heads to Flamengo. Sassuolo evaluate Roma talents as Vina heads to Flamengo. Matias Vina's loan spell at Sassuolo is being interrupted to facilitate his transfer to Flamengo, so the Nero Verdi are now looking for compensation in the form of a talented youngster. Juventus logo, Juventus football club, loading official content. The 26-year-old Uruguayan midfielder joined the Reggio Emilia outfit on a loan deal with a buy option attached in the summer. He made a decent impression in his six months on loan, providing three assists in 15 Serie A matches, attracting attention from Brazil. Flamengo have now agreed to sign Vina on a definitive transfer from Roma, willing to pay eight maus naurs plus one mau meter in add-ons for the Uruguayan fullback. His loan spell at Sassuolo will therefore be ended early. As reported by Gianluca Di Marzio, Sassuolo have drawn up a list of exciting talents that they'd like to sign this month to replace Vina in a form of compensation. The players on the list are Joao Costa, Alessandro Romano, Sergei Levac, William Feola, Ricardo Pagano, and Joao Gabriel Cardozo. The Nero Verdi are now waiting for the green light from the Giallorossi to pick up one of the youngsters in the next few days. Ravens vs. Texans highlights. Lamar Jackson leads Baltimore to AFC Championship game. Led by likely NFL MVP Lamar Jackson, the Baltimore Ravens beat the Houston Texans 34-10 on Saturday in the AFC Divisional Playoffs at M&T Bank Stadium, advancing to next weekend's AFC Championship game. Jackson had two touchdown passes, 16 for 22, 152 yards, and two touchdown runs, 100 yards on 11 carries, for Baltimore in the win. The game was tied 10-10 at halftime after Houston Steven Sims returned a punt for a touchdown in the second quarter. But the Ravens' defense held the Texans scoreless after the intermission. The Ravens will face either the Buffalo Bills or Kansas City Chiefs in the AFC Championship next Sunday. Here's how all the action unfolded on Saturday in Baltimore. Lamar Jackson scores a touchdown in the fourth quarter against Houston. Who do the Ravens play next? The Ravens will host either the Buffalo Bills or the Kansas City Chiefs in the AFC Championship game next Sunday, Jan. 28 at 3 p.m. ET NFL. Stats Central. The latest NFL scores, schedules, odds, stats, and more. The Bills and Chiefs face off in a divisional round matchup on Sunday. It will mark Lamar Jackson's first career AFC Championship game. When asked what he's looking forward to, Jackson said matter-of-factly, just playing, getting on that field and we will go from there. 